Good evening. Hey, I want to shoot a quick video. I had a, a fan or leave a comment today on one of my old videos on collecting monarch butterfly eggs and caterpillars. So, kind of gave me a little inspiration to shoot this video. I've been collecting the eggs, raising, and then you know releasing the adults for it's my eighth year. Last couple of years have not been so good. This year, yeah, I've seen you know just a couple of monarchs in the backyard. But about three years ago, I started, you know, planting milkweed in the backyard. And we'll kind of, so now I got about three patches. You can kind of see maybe behind me. But I came out and uh, let me just, I'm, we'll turn the camera around, get off of me. And if you're looking for caterpillars, the easiest way to look is look for the chewed leaves chewed leaves and another even another quick way is you see the dung you'll see little specks of black on the leaves obviously when they're small the specks are like maybe salt grains but uh as these guys get bigger their poop gets bigger but you know this is just one small you know small area just my little side garden but as you notice this one here i mean that's that one will be you know curling up for its final metamorphosis you know, fairly soon and i i notice over here you could uh, almost thrashing on this there's another you know very large adult and uh you know that's it everywhere i look there's there's you know munching on the leaves and let me just see if we can get a here actually right right behind me here and i sorry if i'm making you dizzy with the camera but you know here's just a real s smaller one there but you know they really chow down and you know that one will probably double in size in, in just a a matter of days but uh i was able to find a there's a couple of real small baby ones if you will to kind of give you an idea how small they are and uh i also you know collect eggs so i mean these ones here like these caterpillars i will i have a container like a reptile screen cage and i'll show you i'll grab these put them in there and then just leave the uh you know feed them with with these these milkweed leaves because i rarely see them you know get to a cocoon stage and then you know uh you know turn into a butterfly on their own but when i you know help them out i mean i'm pretty much at about 100 percent hatch rate i mean it's the very very easy to raise but i'll shoot another video on just kind of one of my uh, screen setups and what I put the real small ones in. You know, I'm, as I'm standing here, I look over and uh, you, know, I, you can see another large one right there. So, all right, we have any questions, please. I, I'm in, it's June 11th and I'm here in the Twin Cities in, in uh, Minnesota. So, hotter than heck, it, we've had record breaking, I think, not ninth day today in the high 90s it's ridiculous no rain so very concerning actually but hey leave a question subscribe and uh stay tuned i'll shoot a video kind of my setup and uh you know how i go about rearing these little guys into you know large caterpillars have a great night